and I'm actually gonna show you a picture when I was super bloated here. I used to deal with a lot of bloating issues, discomfort, pain, and stuff like that. <laughs> update so basically i am super tired because i don't have my art of, of anatomy fixes treatments and stuff like that anymore so you know what what i did i bought these these are for dogs and also this one this is also for dog because i was trying to find something online um like a massage bowl or anything like it and i wasn't able to do it here or at least the shipping, I found one place, but the shipping is a couple days and I'm super tired right now. My hip flexors and my upper glute and I need to fix it somehow. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna use these as a massage ball. Those are quite sturdy, so I hope it will work. This one also has those little bumps. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, but it is what it is and I'm just trying my best. and. Uh, on another topic, since I'm filming this, uh, to be honest, I am struggling a little bit to keep my vlogs interesting. And I, right now, being back in Lithuania, I am struggling a little bit with the topics. And what should I film? What, what shouldn't I? What are you interested in? So please, guys, let me know in the comments below what do you want to see from me. I'm in my off season. I'm building. I'm eating a lot so i feel like all my vlogs are basically training food and stupid stuff like that so just just let me know what you want to see maybe even grocery haul because i was thinking about it the only thing i don't buy a lot of groceries at once because i keep rebuying little things as the day goes um but i can try to kind of make a little grocery haul so just let me know if you want to see that and yeah so this is this is this is this is basically my update and uh, let's see how it goes. I was prepared for to do cardio today because I've been dragging a lot. However, I'm surprised how quickly those 30 minutes passed and uh, I'm done. So I'm gonna go home, go, gonna shower, do my makeup, um, and then get ready for my upper body training, which is going to be shoulders mainly, a little bit of back maybe. And then of course, we'll see where then the rest of the day will take me. Me, us, me, both of us, you know. So I filmed a, filmed a clip in the gym, but I'm not sure if I'm going to upload that clip just because now that I'm thinking, I the music there is so loud, so even if you will be able to hear me, I might get copyright strike because the music, of course, is copyrighted. So yeah, so I just did my cardio. Those 30 minutes actually went quite smoothly and uh, maybe because I thought when I looked at the clock, that I have left something around 20 minutes and it turns out it was something like five so I didn't even notice how the time passed um, I was doing a little bit of work as well on my phone however I noticed that when I do cardio especially on the stairs or something like that that's a little bit harder I cannot focus on my work or even text messages I just need to do that session maybe listen to podcasts or music and that's it because I cannot think straight and especially doing something like client work, programming, replying to messages that, that, that are important. It's, I can't do it when I do it on a 
Stair Master. So yeah, that's that's one of the issues where I can't work when I do cardio, you know. Um, but other than that, as I said, it went pretty smoothly. And now I'm going back home to shower, do my makeup, um, make myself breakfast, do some more plant programming. I need to adjust a few plants for my girls and then I'm gonna go train. Upper body, I told this already in the gym clip, but as I said, I don't know if that will work. So I'm going to do upper body, mainly shoulders, some back, maybe a little bit, maybe some biceps because they need to grow a little bit. My triceps honestly are quite good, but my biceps could be a little bit better. So yeah, that's the plan for today. And then I'm just gonna roll with it and see what, what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Also another thing, I'm not sure how long the dye takes to dry but there as you can see there's blue stuff so it is new it is freshly dyed but i think it's been two weeks already and it's still there and it's still it still has a really strong smell and um yeah so i'm not sure how long it takes because you cannot walk through there because it's you know it's it's dyed it's, fr it's fresh it's ne it needs to be clean and dry before you can step on it so yeah, I'm just rambling, honestly, guys. I'm just rambling. Just, just bear with me or just skip through, through another clip to my workout or anything like it. Um, talking about workouts. So, lately I've been feeling a little bit, not lazy, but maybe lazy, to film my workouts in the gym, especially for YouTube, because Instagram posts, it's pretty easy. I just leave my camera, but for YouTube, I need to think about the angle, about the setup. Um, and if that takes away from my workouts, I'm definitely not having the best quality ones. And my, my, my goal, of course, is to have quality training sessions and just make sure that I'm improving, which actually I am. I'm super proud of this off season. I've been growing super well. I don't have issues eating high calorie consistently. Um, I really push food and I think the mindset change that I had has just been super helpful and it definitely now I see results and even though sometimes mentally it's not as easy it's it's definitely easier and it's definitely better and as i said when your hard work starts to pay off and starts to show it just confirms that everything that you have been doing is is right and you should be doing it and on those harder moments when i get those thoughts like maybe i should lower my calories or maybe i'm just not progressing I just remind myself that a couple of days ago I felt great. I, I saw a lot of progress and now I'm just mentally not there and I'm just trying to find things. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with this off season? And it's just invalid because, because I am progressing and it's not true that I'm not, you know? So it's just about the mindset and things that I say to myself to help me and it definitely helps. And, and you know what? What not helps right now is that I'm holding this heavy phone and my shoulder is cramping already. So guys, honestly, I'm going to speak a little bit more later. You probably, you probably are tired of me already. So I'm going to finish here now. And then after a few clips, I'm going to see you again. And hopefully I will be filming my gym workouts today for you as well. Actually, it's time to mix my pre-workout drink um, and also leave some EAAs for later. I always prep some and leave them in a fridge just to keep them cold. So this is actually one of my favorite flavors, which is strawberry lemonade. Um, then, of course, I'm adding glutamine to my pre-workout drink as well, just to make sure I'm, I'm getting it in. Sometimes not sometimes, but actually, usually I do it out the workout, but I do.
fake it When I'm with you, my legs go weak, yeah. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong Okay, so I needed to stop doing my makeup and go like this outside because I I will be getting my package so it is gonna look ridiculous. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for you back. Got my packages and now it's time to finish this makeup. Finally eat some breakfast because I'm getting hungrier and then of course blow dry my hair. Yeah, so still lots of things to do. So come give me love. Finally, I'm ready to go to the gym. I know when I'm filming, I, I'm taking ages. So instead of taking an hour this morning, I basically took three. So I'm trying my best, but now it's time to train some shoulders. I gotta remember to take my pre-workout. Cheers, guys. I'm gonna start drinking it now and uh, the rest of it, I'm gonna finish in the gym because it's about 10 minutes of walking there so not a as always workout time means voiceover time as well so i started my workout with some lateral raises i believe i did only one set as a warm-up for something around 15 or 20 reps just to kind of really burn it off with super lightweight seated because seated helps me isolate the delts a little bit better then I moved on into my absolute favorite isolation exercise for my side delts, which is this incline dumbbell lateral raise. And usually I don't rest in between sets. Sometimes I do, but usually when my one arm is resting, I do another one and keep switching, switching it up. Then I moved on into superset, but I believe I filmed only one exercise. So I believe it was easy bar front raises with dumbbell Arnold presses, which honestly, Arnold presses are probably my favorite right now from all of the presses that I do because I'm not a huge fan of pressing in general, but Arnold's kind of is, is, is okay, you know, it's fine. Um, then I moved on into some front raises, some V front raises from an incline, from a bench. Um, I really like this variation because I feel like it can help me to isolate the shoulder better as well because I have less swinging, I press myself into the bench and it really really helps. Oh actually I lied previously so this was a superset with easy bar front raises and to be completely honest I don't even remember which superset there was with um, Arnold presses, maybe it was laterals or something, I don't know. but just. Whatever, I guess one exercise doesn't matter if I, if I don't remember. Um, yeah, so another one that I did was actually lateral raises and it was a drop set. So I believe I did four sets and then two drops. Uh, sorry for my filming skills. Honestly, that day gym was pretty busy and I was trying to do just as much as I can. And this is how it looks like when I'm in a rush. However, I still wanted to get kind of decent lift in of course because this is the entire goal um it's not about filming it's about training but i feel like i was i was able to do both um another angle oh my goodness i filmed myself from three different angles on lateral raises who she is can you tell um yeah so this is just lateral raises. as i said i did a drop for two sets um and four sets total I even added some partials in the end, I believe. Then finally, I moved on into some uh, face pulls with ropes. Honestly, currently, right now, this is my favorite rear delt exercise because I feel like I can connect super well. It really, really helps me to burn those rear delts and I even felt quite sore after this one. So it's always nice because usually I don't get super sore, especially in my upper body but whenever i do those it gets me good so 
okay this was a super set once again sorry guys today i feel like such a mess but just bear with me so this was a super set with some um uh, oh my gosh pullovers with ropes um i actually wasn't a fan of pullovers in general but i feel like right now i i can get a pretty good connection with it so i keep adding it in then i moved on into more rear delts which was cable crossovers and every single time that i see that both of those are free i just run i make sure that i'm that i'm taking my spot and really using both because this is actually also one of my favorites for rear delts i feel like i can isolate it super super well also on days when i'm when both of those are not available or if i feel like i need some more burn i'm adding single arm uh, rear delt fly which is not as good as both but still pretty decent and really helps me isolate that rear delt super super well then because i felt good i actually did also some back exercises single arm kneeling um this one actually feels really really nice and honestly doing more unilateral work is super beneficial especially if everything that you do is both arms definitely switch it up make sure that you are strengthening both arms equally and just do more unilateral work then for back i added one more exercise which was pull-ups I just really want to get strong right now and make sure that I'm using all of the food correctly so pull-ups is always a good choice. Then I added some bicep work, right now I do some kind of a bicep curl three times a week usually, sometimes two just because I still need to make sure that I'm loading my biceps and growing them a little bit because I have pretty decent triceps but my biceps is kind of small. and whenever i get leaner this is the first area that drops body fat and then i can look a little bit stringy and i definitely don't want to have those little arms so i'm chaining everything and then i finished with some push-ups <laughs> okay guys so i just got back home from the gym and as always while the topic on my head is fresh i really wanted to record this also, I need to be honest, right now I am dealing with some personal issues that unfortunately, I, at least now, I cannot share it with you. So I feel a little bit all over the place and a little bit mentally exhausted. I cannot sleep during the night. I'm waking up. I'm thinking of ways how to sort uh, a thing that I'm dealing right now with. But I really hope things will work out because they always do as long as you are doing your best to solve the issues and this is just life i guess and as i said i know it doesn't make any sense to you and i'm just rambling but if you'll notice any difference in my energy or anything like that it's it's because of it but you guys you are the reason why i still am so motivated so excited and don't get me wrong i'm really really happy i'm excited for the future for competing and stuff like that it's just that i have to deal with some issues but yeah so uh, the topic is actually how I am staying lean when eating more food and eating more calories and what helps me and of course first things first it is digestion I'm making sure that my digestion is running smooth which means I'm eating foods that agree with my stomach well and I've noticed that those foods are definitely fast absorbing carbs like cream of rice I eat a lot of cream of rice I love jasmine rice I love um, what else oh bananas berries that's pretty much and also sweet potatoes and regular potatoes um those oats as well those are my main sources of carb carbohydrates that i digest super well and feel good eating i don't feel bloated or too heavy after meals although my portions right now are pretty big so it's it's totally normal to feel a little bit more bloated 
but nothing too crazy, nothing too intense. Especially if after eating you are having pains, um, cramping, discomfort, you feel super sluggish, it's definitely a sign that you are not eating the right food for you or you have some bacterial overgrowth in your gut or maybe even portion was just way too big. So you need to be aware of that. Also, it really helped me with my digestion and just in general absorbing food well is actually limiting my protein intake per meal. I usually don't get crazy amount of protein like I used to before in one meal. I tend to spread out my protein evenly during the day and I eat a lot of meals. I believe it's like seven or eight meals, which still are pretty big, but just my protein intake, I, I guess, per meal is something around 20 to 30 grams. Sometimes more if I'm behind, but I try to not go over, especially with things like chicken, turkey, meats. I find my stomach doesn't digest that well, and especially when I eat higher quantities. So I, I still eat turkey, but I eat in small amounts, like 70, 80, 90 grams, up to 100 grams per um, per one meal. Um, with fish, I tend to tolerate it quite well. I usually don't go above 150 grams of fish in, in a meal, um, but I tend to digest it pretty quickly and pretty, pretty easily. Um, yeah, so just find foods that agrees with you well. Also, I found that using supplements like a glutamine, gut health from Revive, which is amazing for even bacterial overgrowth. Okay, so this is actually the next day, but I thought that I need to show you the exact supplements and basically explain why I use it and how does that help with my gut health. And I'm actually going to show you a picture when I was super bloated here. I used to deal with a lot of bloating issues, discomfort, pain and stuff like that, but I was able to fix it gladly. And it's not to say that you need to use all of the supplements because I am a little bit crazy with, with it, but of course. I do bodybuilding professionally and I need to eat so much and when you eat so much you need to take care of your gut health even more because in order to digest all the food you you have to take take a lot of work into it do do a lot of additional work um, especially if you are dealing with issues um, so this is actually what I'm what I'm using right now. So this is the thing, of course, from Revive. This is the gut health supplement, which can actually help with the bacterial overgrowth if you have it. So always, of course, you can always test it. And especially if you are dealing with extreme bloating, um, you wake up bloated, you are bloated after meals, you, especially after eating higher carb, that can be a sign that you are dealing with some kind of bacteria in your gut and you need to take care of it for sure. Um, then what I'm using, of course, it's Digest 8. I don't use a lot of it. I take one pill a day and that's it. It really helps to just digest food a little bit better and I feel like my food doesn't sit in the stomach long. So it's really, really beneficial. Also glucose, especially if you are eating high carb, it really helps to absorb the carbs and shove those in into your muscle cells instead of fat cells. Also blood sugar levels, um, digestion. I really hope the sounds are not too much because the window is open and I'm just trying to focus. So this one is just amazing. I noticed that I'm having way better pumps in the gym as well because all the nutrients are being shoved into the muscle, which is amazing. It helps with lean muscle growth and fat loss, of course, for sure. Um, then I still wasn't able to learn how to say the name of this one, but I think it's betaine betaine hcl um this one is just amazing especially if you are dealing with low low stomach acid um especially if you are eating high protein and you are eating multiple times a day like we do bodybuilding um so five meals maybe six meals maybe even seven plus it's super super helpful so i don't use a lot of it i usually take one one pill a day and it lasts me like for 180 days sometimes two depending um, but this one is just amazing. Um, so if you are dealing with any acid reflux, especially if your acid reflux, it's not because you are having too much acid, but you are having too low of acid, it will definitely be a lifesaver for you. Um, then of course, glutamine. This is something I consistently use and been using for, I don't know, five years, six years or something. Um, usually I use 10 to 15 grams per day, which means I'm using 
it three times a day or two times at least. So one is in the morning, one post-workout, and then another one is pre bed. Um, glutamine in general helps with gut health, with immunity, with digestion. Um, yeah, so this one is just amazing. I absolutely love it. It's a super simple supplement, but it's worth to add to your regular supplementation. Then this one I just got refilled recently because they were out of stock and now they are back in stock. This is probiotic. I preach probiotics to each, basically all of my clients because it can be super, super helpful, especially as I said, if you are dealing with bloating and digestion. Um, this one really, really helps with my, your gut micro, microflora and just in general, um, I notice a big difference when I use probiotic daily, consistently, in the morning, pre-breakfast. And then one of my favorites, of course, is daily greens. I actually use it in the evening. I like to make it like my little sweet treat. And I use it in espresso flavor. I love this one. And I use it with hot water, which actually gives me almost like a espresso sweet um, coffee type of flavor and I use it as I said with hot water so it almost makes me feel like I'm drinking coffee pre-bed which you shouldn't do but it's it's not coffee it's just the flavor of it and the greens you can't even taste the greens because a lot of people complains and I, I used to try a couple different supplements different brands before uh, where greens actually taste like grass like you would be eating literal grass and it doesn't have any aftertaste it's just amazing flavor super sweet also it has i believe berry flavor which i didn't try it and chocolate i tried that one it, it's also really nice with hot water it's almost like a hot chocolate drink so i love it and it's really helpful for the gut i noticed that whenever i use this one daily i go to the bathroom like perfectly on the clock every single morning so it's really, really helpful if you are dealing with any bathroom issues or stuff like that or you are backed up or constipated it can definitely help just don't overdo because too much fiber and too much things um, like green powders can actually do the opposite for your bathroom situation so just be careful uh, maybe start with not full scoop but almost full scoop just play around with it but I absolutely love it and definitely recommend it and as you know all of these are from Revive and we work with Revive for quite some time now um, I've been using their products even before working with them, so I love them. I tried basically, I believe, everything on the site and I love every single vitamin they do. And of course, I have my discount code, Laura, which saves you money, of course, 10% off. And then it gives me, just benefits me because the brand just sees that I helped you, that you know me. And uh, yeah, it just helps me to travel more, to do more things with them. and. Uh, yeah, so I really, really appreciate it. And then, and now, actually, let's get back to the video where I was talking about all the good and stuff, you know. Um, it's incredible. Um, also, probiotics, daily greens, I use them too. Everything's from Revive. And moving forward, I also make sure that I'm eating variety of foods as well um, and trying different stuff. Of course, if that doesn't agree with my stomach, I don't eat it, but I make sure to eat dairy to make sure to eat a lot of different fruits, um, berries, different grains, even protein sources like eggs, fish, um, meats, lean meats. Usually I don't eat a lot of beef because it also tend to mess up with my stomach, especially when I eat it, when I need to eat that so often and so much. Dairy products like Greek yogurt, um, buttermilk and stuff like that. So I absolutely love it. Also talking about food and fiber, which actually fiber can help you with your gut and being regular in the bathroom but of course it's there's a certain point where, where you, when your fiber intake can get too high and it is a little bit different for different people so i noticed that for me especially lower fiber intake definitely works better because i just don't feel as bloated i feel like i digest food quicker faster easier so i think i eat around 31 grams of fiber per day and my my calorie intake is pretty high it's it's going nearly 3000 calories so it's not a lot of fiber in comparison but i found that it just it it, it is what works for me so i wouldn't go below 20 grams per day of fiber for sure but just experiment with that and if you find that you are super gassy bloated um maybe constipated or stuff like that it can actually be you are eating too much fiber 
but if you don't eat a lot of fiber definitely try to increase your fiber intake and just see if that helps um, one of my uh, main sources of fiber that I love adding especially if, if a client or myself having issues is actually raspberries blackberries even oats can help um, any uh, green vegetables like broccoli which actually can can bloat you a little bit but they really helped you regulate your bathroom situation so if you can deal with some bloating try that um, yeah so basically just experiment with that thing and see if that helps you. okay another thing that really helps with my digestion is, and basically staying lean when eating more is actually moving um, because I especially love eating not eating oh my goodness walking after meals um, if I can if I don't have too much work under my computer which sometimes I just have to stay in the house but when I can I definitely go for short walks after eating uh, this is something I also recommend to my clients if they are having digestive issues or just or just in general because walking and moving things around definitely helps with digestion firstly also with your blood sugar levels they tend to drop um, which also super helpful um, yeah, so just always try to move at least for 10 minutes or even two minutes after eating because that can be super, super helpful, especially if you are not active during the day and uh, you are struggling with digestion. And even if you are training five times a week or even six times a week, but you are sitting on a couch, not on a couch, um, on a work chair or anything like that the entire day, I wouldn't consider you active because active means not only training in the gym but also moving a lot around your house around um, outside maybe or you are working um, active job like maybe you are a server um, I don't know maybe you are my English so sorry somebody that works in building houses I'm sure I'm gonna remember the word whatever so if you are working an active job of course you don't have to do additional moving but if you are not moving much some cardio some movement um, can be super super helpful and beneficial and this is what helps me uh, because I need to be mindful and not sit under my computer for way too long programming for clients I still need to move a little bit and go for walks so this is what I'm doing and this is what works for me can I see one thing I am a little bit frustrated you know why because a couple of days ago I did my manicure and this one looks nice but I already messed up one finger and my other appointment is just in two weeks and what should I do? Maybe I just paint it like the same but it's not gel, I don't know, I don't know. it's frustrating. So